here is an unusual question to test your pattern recognition skills as well as spatial reasoning. You are presented with 3x3 matrix which has shapes inside and you need to find the next 3x3 matrix in the sequence. You are presented with four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I would recommend that you spend no more than 15 to 20 seconds thinking about this test. This is about as much time as you get in a real assessment. I'm pretty sure you figured it out, so I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I'm probably not going to surprise you when I say that to solve this challenge, you need to detect the pattern. And each shape here has its own pattern. For example, because we have three different shapes inside 3x3 three three matrix, we have circle, we have arrow and we have triangle, we need to look at each individual shape and determine pattern for each individual shape. Let's start with the arrow. Arrow alternates in color, changes from black to white and also rotates 90 degrees, staying inside the same middle square of the matrix. The tricky part here is that arrow rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise with every step. Now let's look at oval. Oval moves to the next corner counterclockwise. It starts in the upper left corner in the matrix 1, then moves to the lower left corner in the matrix 2, and then moves to the lower right corner in the matrix 3. Triangle alternates the color, changes from black to white, and also moves into the next middle section counterclockwise. If you follow all of these patterns, you will realize that the answer is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an amazing question where you're presented with the series of shapes and you need to determine the next shape in the sequence. You have four choices to choose from for the final shape. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I'm gonna give you a hint. Please make sure to pay attention to all the details of inside shape and outside shapes. Are you ready? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds if you need more time. But I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I am pretty sure you figured it out. But the key to figure it out was determining the pattern. And the pattern here is that the darker color shape sequentially applies from the most inner shape to the next inner shape. Let's look into details. In the first shape, we see that triangle has a darker color. In the second shape, we see that internal square has similar darker color. And in the third shape, we see that the circle has a darker color. So, Continuing the sequence, logically, we come up with the choice D, where outside square will have a darker color. Let's look at the wrong choices, because they're pretty close. If you look at choices A, B, C and D, all choices have outside square with the darker color. So the key to find out the right shape is to find the shape with the inside objects that matches the sequence. If you look at choice A, Choice A has internal rectangle instead of the square. Choices B and C, they have internal diamonds instead of the square. And the only matching choice that would follow the sequence would be choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question to help you find the missing item. You're presented with the sequence of bulbs. There are three bulbs visible and fourth bulb is missing. You need to select the missing bulb out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to get you to the correct solution. But if you need more time, please make sure to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. As you might be well aware, to answer questions like this, you need to determine the pattern. There are multiple items here that define the pattern. These are rays, petal leaves inside the bulb, number at the bottom of the bulb, and then number of parts at the bulb's bottom construction. Let's look at each pattern individually. 
number of rays that go out of bulb increase incrementally. Extra pedal lip inside the bulb changes alternatively with every other bulb. The third pattern is that the number of parts in the bulb's bottom increments by one in the sequence. And then the last fourth pattern is that the number at the bottom of the bulb increments by two in the sequence. Based on this information, we need to find the bulb with eight rays, with the pedal leaf inside, seven parts of the bottom construction lines, as well as the number 14 at the bottom. And the correct choice here, choice that matches all of these conditions, is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is the very interesting question, which seems hard, but in reality is extremely easy to solve. You are presented with the three circles, and the fourth circle is missing. You need to determine the fourth circle out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. And obviously, you should not just randomly select one of the four choices, but to determine which item might be missing based on the particular pattern. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Keep in mind that you can always pause this video if you need more time. And I am moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I think the correct choice here is choice B. The question is why? Let me explain. If we look closely at the yellow circles, we see that yellow circles have smaller shapes inside. If we follow closely the pattern, we see that blue triangles and blue circles do not change from shape to shape. The only thing that changes are the green items, small green circles. If you keep following closely, you can notice that number of small circles are the same at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions. And if you continue looking at the pattern, you might notice that number of small circles increments by 1 in 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions from the 12 and 6 o'clock base. Let's look at the specific example. First circle has three green small circles in the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions. And if we increment it by 1, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions have four green circles. Next one has four and five. The following has five and six, so the missing one must have six and seven. And the only item that meets this choice is choice B. It has six small green circles in 12 and 6 o'clock positions and seven small green circles in 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Would you agree with my solution? Do you have a better one? Please make sure to post in comments. Here's an amazing question to determine your pattern recognition skills. You're presented with five boxes. Boxes 1, 2, 3, and 5 have smaller shapes inside. And you need to select box number 4 out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can get to the correct solution. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the pattern and show you how to calculate the correct solution. As you might have guessed, the position of the small shapes inside the large box is not as important. But the presence of the shapes is very important. And there are three variables for the pattern that we see here. There are always two squares in the frame. There are always two circles in the frame. And there is always one triangle in the frame. So the correct answer here is choice D. If you have doubts, please go and review the original question to make sure that we've got the correct solution. And now I have a question for you to try and test your skills. You're presented with the sequence of diamonds and you need to find the next diamond in the sequence. Please select one of the four following choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Once you found the correct answer, please make sure to post it in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. I love this question because it seems very simple, but the answer is extremely surprising. 
you need to determine how many rectangles are present in the shape. And you have four different choices. Choice A, seven rectangles. Choice B, eight rectangles. Choice C, nine rectangles. And then choice D, 10 rectangles. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. And I'm going to move forward and share with you my solution. But as usual, in case you see a different answer, please make sure to correct me in comments. Hard to believe, but I counted nine rectangles here in this shape. Let me show them all to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you see any other answer? Please make sure to post in comments. I would like to ask you to participate in our daily assessment test challenge. I post new question every day in the community tab of YouTube channel and give you an opportunity to answer it and try it. And I post answer in comments next day. So please make sure to check it out to test your knowledge. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here is an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You need to determine which item comes next. And you are presented with the series of five rectangles and the sixth rectangle is missing. You need to select one of four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the answer. Make sure to give yourself enough time. If necessary, pause this video to see if you can get to the correct solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the final answer. And obviously, the final answer is just the result of my analysis. If you have a better way of solving it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you need to know that you need to always look for patterns. And there are three different patterns here in this problem. Let's look at all three. The first pattern is that squares filled with color move diagonally from the top left corner to the middle and then to the bottom right corner. Then they return back. The second pattern is that unshaded, transparent square appears in the middle of every third shape in the sequence. And then the third pattern is that triangle appears in the middle right section with every alternative shape. This is why the correct choice here is the rectangle with the black square as well as unshaded, transparent square inside the middle, but without the triangle. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please make sure to post in the comment section of this video to share with others. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. Here's an amazing question where you need to form the word from the English dictionary using 10 letters. And the condition is that you need to use all the letters only once. The letters are L, E, P, M, O, C, Y, T, I, X. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. I'm gonna give you a quick hint. The word kind of reflects the fact that there are 10 letters in the word. Hopefully it was helpful, but ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the solution. As you might have guessed, the answer is the word complexity. Let me spell it for you. C-O-M-P-L-E-X-I-T-N-Y And complexity is a state of having many different components that are being challenging to understand or find answer to. Here's the sample usage of the word complexity. There are a lot of complexities surrounding this project. Not sure if it's helpful for you or not, but I try to solve these challenges by trying to mentally connect the letters looking at the original question. So, for example, here we can connect the letters C-O-M-P-L-E-X-I-T-N-Y. Do you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to post your ideas to solve these types of questions in comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, 
please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.